It was just an immediate uh, connection. We were just head over heels in an instant. And I think that we both knew it. We both knew that it was something really, really special. He had a very rare form of cancer. I had a period of time where I absolutely could not do anything creative. Part of overcoming the grieving period was mindful walking is a form of meditation. And in mindful walking, every step is slow motion. Everything becomes hyper exaggerated. So sounds, the wind blowing at your face, or a droplet of dew on a flower. That was the very first thing that helped me come out of grief. Because it made me realize there's a world outside of my inner aloneness. The way I started to paint again was with an idea I had to paint my crawl space. It's because I related to that space as if it were my grieving process. Well, the basement panorama is, one of the paintings was 47 feet wide. How I got the idea for doing panoramas was so that the viewer would have to walk the space. There's always something there to experience differently in a very immersive way. I wanted to do this new work. I don't know where, where I got this idea from, that everything was going to be round. And somehow that was a joyful form to me. There's no scale. A circle is, you look at it and it's as small as an atomic particle or as big as a planet. I'm conscious of the paintings holding a kind of truth. And in that spark, experiences collide and create something different, which is imaginative content. That's been a creation of what art is to the world.